My name is Marat Fosfa. I was born and raised in Washington, D.C. I currently live in Silver Spring, Maryland. I come from an Ethiopian family, so I represent D.C. to Ethiopia, and I am the oldest of five kids. My nine to five? You mean my 24 seven? I work in an industry that does not sleep, better known as radio. I rock the radio on WPGC 95.5 on the weekends as a part-time job. I'm also at the Voice of America news radio station where I work as a producer for the English to Africa news service, which broadcasts all over Africa. I also recently joined the Hip Hop Connection, which is a hip hop show at the Voice of America, which also broadcasts to Africa. As of recently, recently, I joined 94.7 Fresh FM, which is a new sister station to PGC at CBS Radio. And on top of that, I work with my parents at their restaurant, at Disa Baba Restaurant, as the marketing manager. Basically, I'm all over the place. I always wanted to accomplish two things. One being that I wanted to be a really successful radio and TV entertainment broadcaster, and I also wanted to be a really successful businesswoman. I graduated from the University of Maryland with a degree in communications, had the degree, but did not have a job, did not have any experience. My one and only internship was at The Voice of America in the Zimbabwe service, and like three months into my internship, this opportunity arises for this new production job in the Portuguese service, so I am so boosted because not even three Three months into getting my radio experience, I get offered this opportunity to produce, making the music, um, recording live feeds, um, editing and producing feeds that were reports from our street correspondents. I'm loving the job, loving the people, loving the experience, and I'm really excited about like what's next. So I reached out to Satellite Radio. And not even a year after working within the Portuguese service at VOA, I get this opportunity to join Satellite Radio. I get hired into Satellite Radio, not as a producer, but as an on-air talent. So I really felt like I had made it at that point. I was on air on Satellite Radio, on World Space Satellite Radio, and XM Satellite Radio on the World Music Channel. I'm loving it, I'm living it, I'm just learning everything from all of these wonderful people who have worked within radio for years. I was garnering all this experience. I got to meet so many wonderful international artists. I got exposed to international music, and it was really just a great learning experience. But then, an even cooler experience happened when World Space Satellite Radio initiated their first international hip-hop show. When that station started, the program director specifically requested that I join. So it was just a natural progression and transition for me because she hired me as the morning show host. So I was doing a morning drive on Flavor 204. I got to create my own show. It was called The Method with Marat. It was really cool. I got to interview some wonderful hip-hop and R&B artists. I mean, I was living life and I was loving it and I was getting experience and I did it on my own merit. So, I mean, hard work definitely pays off. After garnering all this experience, I was ready to put an S on my chest and venture into terrestrial FM radio. So I put my air check together, took some of my best shows, pieces from some of my best interviews, put it together in a five minute um, CD. I wanted my package to be outstanding. I wanted it to stick out from the rest. So I took the time to get a photographer to take some professional photos. I took the time to get a graphics designer, sit down and creatively come up with a cool way to package not only myself, but my air check. So I sent this package to WPGC because there was no other station I really wanted to flourish at aside from the station that housed two of my heroes, Donnie Simpson and Big Tigga. And so not even a year and some change into working on air in satellite radio, I got my first FM gig. I just so happened to have the opportunity to prove myself, and I did, and I got directly on air at PGC on a part-time basis on the weekend. I had the experience from what I garnered at Voice of America and Satellite Radio, so it was really cool to come to a station that I grew up listening to, a station that I grew up loving, and at one point I had the ultimate opportunity, which is to join the Donnie Simpson Morning Show. So I got to work with Donnie Simpson on a daily basis, I got to crack the mic with Donnie Simpson, and that's just the type of experience that I can't really articulate. I recently was picked up by 94.7 Fresh FM, which is in the same building, just a different genre of music, it's top 40. 
still at Voice of America doing my daily African news, doing my international hip hop segment. So I'm all over the place. I'm getting experience from every which way. I got my hip hop in one pocket. I got my top 40 in another pocket. I got my news radio in another pocket. And I'm just grinding it out, hopefully. All this experience that I get within the different genres of radio will prepare me to transition into television. If you know anyone, you can tell them to highlight your girl. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a TV exec that you got a radio chick here ready to go onto television. Outside of my radio grind, I grind it out with my parents. They own and operate Addisa Baba restaurant. They've owned it for over 25 years. It used to be in Adams Morgan, D.C. It's now in downtown Silver Spring. And uh, I'm at the restaurant on a bi-daily basis, taking care of the family business. We've got a project we're working on in Ethiopia. We've got this restaurant here. We do outside catering jobs. We cover festivals and concerts and weddings and anniversaries and all that stuff. So um, here's a shameless plug for you if you're looking for some great Ethiopian cuisine at a really beautiful, cultured uh, place. You need to come to the Sababa restaurant, and if you have an event that needs to be catered, you need to call me or my mom, and we will take care of you. But yeah, you know, I come from a family of entrepreneurs, so the grind is in my blood, and I look to my parents as my source of influence, so they keep me going. I do my radio, and then I go home and take it back to home base and take care of family business, so that's what I do.